All right, so I'm going to go through a bunch of examples using the addition and multiplication principles. Uh, now, really quick shorthand for this. The addition principle is used if the question is like an or kind of question. Multiplication principle is used if it's an and kind of question. Uh, and we'll talk more about that as we move through. But addition is or, multiplication is and. Okay, let's jump straight into a bunch of examples, see how we go. How many different ways can I select a two letter combination from the letters A to F? So I've got six, I think it's six letters in front of me, A, B, C, D, E, F, A, B, C, D, E, F. That's six letters. Uh, and how many different two letter combos? Maybe I've got some weird lock. Okay, so I could use the combo um, A, B. I could use the combo A, C, A, D, A, E, and A, F. In this question, I'm assuming that I can't use the combo A, A. Uh, I can't sort of use a repeated one. I could use the combo B, A, B, B, uh, not B, 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 C, B, D, B, E, and B, F. And I could continue to do this, but it looks like I'm going to have something starting with A, five of those, something starting with B, five of those, something starting with C, five of those, something starting with D, something starting with E, something starting with F. So I'm going to have six letters, and each of those six letters is going to have, each of those six first letters is going to have five second letters to go with it. So the answer is going to be up six times five is equal to 30. Before I go on, a couple of different ways to, um, I guess, conceptualize that. A tree diagram, A, B, C, D, E, F. And that's my first letter that I choose. So that's the letter A. And then from there, I could choose B, C, D, E, F. And this is my second letter, B, A, C, D, E, F. So I'm going to have six first branches, and I'm going to have five second branches on each of those. Six times five, the answer is 30. Another way to conceptualize this is to use something called the box method, which in more difficult questions is going to be quite useful. So given I've got um, two letters, I need to get one letter, I need to get a second letter and put them together. I can use the box method. And the box method is simply, in the first box, how many different letters could I put in the first box? Well, I can put A, B, C, D, E, or F. I can put six different letters in the first box. And then in the second box, how many different letters can I put in? Well, I already put one of the letters in the first box, so I can't reuse that one. So in the second box, I can only put five letters, B, C, D, E, or F, or whatever it is. The answer, six times five, there's 30 different ways that I can select that two letter combination. Um, okay, I just wanted to conceptualize that. We're gonna do a bunch of other examples um, that use the same ideas. The list, the tree diagram, the box method, they're all the same ways of getting to the same answer. Good example here, uh, how many different five digit numbers exist where each number is different or each digit is different? Um, so I guess the first number that comes to my mind is one, two, three, four, five. So it's a five digit number and each number is different. Another number could be one, two, three, four, six. One, two, three, four, seven. You can imagine that it's gonna take me a very, very long time to list all of the five digit numbers that exist where each digit is different. But I'm gonna use the box method to make my life a little bit simpler. So a box. And I'm choosing five different things, so I need five different boxes. Now, in that first box, I can put the number 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. I can't put the number 0, because if I put the number 0, that's not a five-digit number, that's a four-digit number. So, there are nine different things that can get put there. Now, in my second digit, I can put 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. I could also put 0, so I can put 10 different digits there. Now, if, oh, hang on, careful, careful, careful. If I put one of nine digits there, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, in this box, 
I can put one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, zero. I can put 10 different numbers, but I have to subtract one because I've already used one here. So I can actually only use nine of my numbers. Now here, I can use one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, zero, but I can't use this number and I can't use this number. So I can only use, there's only eight numbers left up for grabs. Now I can't use this number, this number, or this number in this box, so seven left. And I can't use this number, this number, this number, or this number in this box, so six. So how many unique five digit numbers exist where each digit is different? Nine times nine times eight times seven times six equals 27,216. All right, um, let's try another one. So here's my next question. How many different four or five digit numbers exist uh, where each digit is different? So I already know that there's 27,216 five digit numbers. I just need to know about the four digit numbers. So using the same method, this number can be nine different numbers. This number can be 10 different numbers, but I can't use that one, so also nine. This one can be 10 different numbers, but I can't use those two, so eight. And this number can be 10 different numbers, but I can't use those three, so seven. So how many different four digit, four digit numbers exist where each digit is different? Nine times nine times eight times seven, which is four, five, three, six. Now, remember at the very beginning of this video, I said addition is or and multiplication is and. Everything I've been doing so far is and. First digit and this digit and this digit and this digit and this digit. But here I'm saying how many different four or five digit numbers. So if I want to do four or five, I do the number of four, which is four, five, three, six, plus the number of five, 27, two, one, six. And that's 31752. Two, I believe. Yes. All right. So there's 31,752 um, four or five digit numbers where each digit is different. Um, okay. I'm going to do something else. We go to a restaurant, and at the restaurant, you can have a choice of three different entrees. There are nine different main courses, and there are four desserts. Now, if you're not feeling particularly hungry and you just want to eat one meal, you have three plus nine plus four choices. That's uh, 13, that's 16 choices. That's an or kind of question, which is why I'm doing addition. I'm gonna have an entree or a main or a dessert, add up our choices, 16. Let's jump into some of the more difficult questions. How many choices of three course meal, entree, main, dessert are available? Well, again, that's just another box. So, my entree, there are three different things that I can have for an entree. There are nine main courses, and there are four desserts. And I have to have one from this box, one from this box, and one from this box to have a three course meal. So three times nine is 27, uh, times four, I think it's about 108. All right, so there are 108 different combinations of three course meal that can occur in this restaurant. What about part B here? How many choices of entree and main? So sometimes you don't have dessert. You have the entree, you have the main, and then you go down the road and you get like gelato from the ice cream place. So in that case, it's a two box kind of question. I'm gonna have three times nine. There's 27 different things that can happen. Um, how many choices of main course and dessert? So sometimes you say, no, let's skip the entree. We're going to have the main course and we're going to have the dessert. If that's the case, two box method, nine main courses, four desserts. There are 36 different things that can happen. Okay, and then the last bit, the last question here is probably the interesting one. How many choices of two or three course meals are available, assuming that a main course is always ordered? All right, so. This is one of those or questions because you can see the word or here. 
how many different choices? Well, you could choose to have a three course meal, in which case there are 108 different choices. You could choose to have a um, entree followed by a main, which is 27 different choices. Or you could choose to have a main followed by a dessert. That's two different choices, that's 36. You add them up together and I'm sure you'll get a number. Think 171 sounds about right. So there's 171 different things that can happen, assuming that everyone in the restaurant orders a two or a three course meal, including a main. Uh, okay, that is the addition and multiplication principles in a nutshell. Um, the, the, the ideas behind it are fairly straightforward, but you need to be very, very careful about how you interpret the questions as you go. Um, let's try some questions.